Hi everyone. Okay, so I just want to make a quick tutorial on some flash and ambient blending. Take my two layers. I've got one flash and one ambient. Uh, flash shots a bit warm. Before I change these temperature sliders, I'm going to try auto. Okay, so auto looks fine. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the other layer. Then open. Uh, now I'm going to click on stack as layers. And I've got my ambient at the top and my flash at the bottom, which is right. Okay, so expo blend, then flash ambient. Now already I have a darkened layer with that I have the mask selected. So while you're on the mask, you can just brush onto your windows. Let's take the flow to like 20. Okay, so we've got some window detail now. Um, we've got some flash colors reflecting on the couch. Um, that is because we are on luminosity mode on this luminosity layer. It's on luminosity. So I'm going to just change that to normal. You can see what works better for you. Um, in this case, I am going to leave it on normal. Um, if I do want some of the flash color though, then what I'm going to do is click on this, the darken, the darken layer, and then control or command J to make a copy of it. Click on color, color layer, select the mask, and then I can, let me just see, what do I actually like about this? Okay, so I'm going to brush over the walls now. I'm going to brush over the walls, get some of that, that coolness back. And here, I'm not going to brush on the couch because that was the problem. You can try on the floor as well. Um, maybe that's too strong. Just blend some of that. I think that is fine. And on the darken layer, I'm going to bring some detail back. Okay, so like that. Yeah, and that's just your basic flash and ambient. Um, I'm going to now do a four bracket. <coughs> so one ambient and three flash shots. Um, okay, so I've got my ambient, main flash, flashing that area and flashing the back area there. Uh, again, I have one of the images selected on either end. Hold shift and click on the other end. Open. And now again, we stack as layers. Okay, in this case, my ambient is at the top again. But just for now, I'm going to drag it to right at the bottom. And I'm also going to take this main flash and drag it above the ambient so that I can, um, I can see now my other flash shots. So these two, um, so you will have your ambient at the bottom, then you'll have a main flash above it. Now, then every other flash shot above that, for whichever areas, you're going to select all of them, except the main one, and then change the blend mode to lighten. Um, and then click on new merged layer. <clears throat> and... Now we have a new flash shot. 
So now we have only one flash shot here. I can delete the these three just to make it less confusing. And now we're back working with our one flash, one ambient. So now same process as we did before. So expo blend and then flash ambient. And that looks that looks decent. So now I have my darken layer again. Um, I'm gonna set this to 100 this time because yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything back here, not much. And maybe over there. Okay, that's not much either. Um, now again, let's play with our. Let's change this to normal. And let's see what works best. So what don't we like about? the luminosity mode because sometimes you get that weird coloring on luminosity so i like the wall colors um basically of the flash and all that um what's happening here though uh, i don't know can't really tell those colors seem pretty strong here so i'm gonna leave it on normal again and then whatever colors i want back i'm going to just copy this darken layer Copy the darken layer, click on color layer, click on the mask and start bringing in some colors that I that I did like about the flash. So this wall and the yellow wall. The ceiling as well. And maybe a bit on the floor. Maybe that's too much. We want a bit of that color on the on the floor as well, because there's a window there. Um, so the sky reflecting on the floor would make it a bit blue. Um, what else? What can we still do here for this? I think. Let me see if I brush this back. Okay. Wait. Leave it like that. Uh, maybe if you want to take out some color of the ceiling, we can do that as well. Because I think we've got some flash here, um, making it a, a bit cold. So let's. I'm going to flatten this now. I don't think I need to do anything else. Flatten. And then we're going to go over to post process tools and use color range mask. Uh, just click. And then hold shift and then click whatever colors or whatever part of the ceiling you want to take some color out so i'm selecting no ceiling as you can see here i have a hold shift and i click all over the ceiling the fuzziness i can maybe take a bit down maybe like that and then okay and now i'm going to click on this hand tool and i think here's a bit the colors is magenta so i'm dragging that clicking and just left click and drag to the left. Let's see what else we can get. So just keep on clicking all over the ceiling and dragging to the left to see what colors you find there. Okay, so I've taken out quite a bit there. Got some edges as well. Um, now click OK. And now we are given a black mask and now we just need to brush in that in that area so like on the ceiling i didn't want to tackle the entire image that's why i put it in a black mask and now you can just brush on certain areas and it's also got that protection mask in on the middle layer so that looks that looks better we've got some let's try and clean up here but not really necessary so if you want some casting you can you can leave that yeah so um that's basically it um i hope this tutorial helped you guys till next time cheers